hello everyone so today we are going to work on how to selectively pause npc characters in our game so here you can see this is just for testing when i press p uh, npc characters are paused their ais and their animations are paused uh, but my player is not paused you can see the animations are also working for the player and if i press p again the animations are unfrozen and the ai is also unlocked for the uh, npcs so the reason that i want to work on this system is because here when i go into the inventory stage i want to pause uh, i want to keep the my player character uh, animated and everything else should be unpaused but i want to pause the ais of the npcs and also npc and animations and their navigations and everything should be locked so that's why i wanted to selectively pause the npc characters in the level so here let me show you again now they are coming if i go into the inventory the npcs are paused when i go back they are in the same location as before let them yeah the attacks are also paused let them start another attack right so this is what we are going to work on today before we get started i'd like to remind you you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects that i have done from my patreon page once you become a member you can download anything without a limit so feel free to check it out i'll leave the link in description below and this is a part of this action rpg with gameplay ability system series so you can watch all other episodes as well i'll leave the link to the full playlist in the description and let's get back to today's tutorial okay so right now uh, if I play the game and if I go to the inventory now here you can see when I come back the character is here so any character in the world is not paused see they are still working so what i want to do is i want to post their animations and and also i want to post their ai behaviors so for example if i wait a little bit here now you see this uh, last scene location silhouette appears that's because the character has lost sight of me and the ai system registers it as the they have lost the character sight so they the AI system is still working basically that's why it shows that okay so um, to address this uh, first thing I would I I tried was I I paused the game altogether but in that case it will stop uh, let me just show you let me open the inventory here and this is where the this is where i enter the inventory mode so i'll set game post to true here and false here when i exit the inventory mode now if i go to inventory you see my character is they are but it's post no animations and here now the input is not working okay so but we can fix the input problem not a issue here trigger when post but still it will not solve everything see so the other thing that i can try is let me go to my player third person character player 
and here I can try enabling tick here tick when paused and for the mission so let's enable that and see now you see that problem is uh, gone but here if I go to these other options they are not working the animation camera moments are not working so that's because I have used some uh, components such as this move component nodes so that approach is also a bit problematic and then naturally the next thing I tried is uh, um, aesthetic let me enable this also and still the camera movements are not working because these nodes are not working when the game is paused even if I have enabled Click even when paused, so that is also not working. So the other thing I was thinking about doing is just selectively pausing the characters. The main thing that I want to pause is NPC characters and their AIs. So if I just pause them, things would become much simpler but how can I do that um, so here let's go to blueprints and interface VP interfaces and here I'm gonna create a new blueprint interface BPI traceable Yeah. Toggle freeze and I let it input freeze. Okay, now let's. This is the player. Let's go to the NPC, uh, well, not NPC. Let's go to the base, BP third person character base. Here, I'll implement um, preserver interface, and then I'll go back to the NPC. PC third person character and base because I don't want to freeze the player as well. Freeze double freeze event. Okay, now here, um, let's have a branch, and there is a function called lock AI resources with animation. Lock moment lock all logic get any instance of the mesh and when it is false lock ai resources with unlock ai resources with animation unlock moment unlock logic and let's pass this also okay uh, but uh, uh, if I go into the inventory I can't easily see their freezing in action so therefore here let's set up a test function uh, keyboard P so here let's add a flip-flop a flip-flop is when you execute first time it will execute A 
and if I execute it again it will execute B then again A then again B so it will uh, change every time I call it okay now here I'll get all actors with interface reasonable and here for each actor I'll call toggle freeze with the draw and here the same thing but call it with the force Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, now let's test. Now the enemy is coming. If I press P, now we can see character did stop, but the animation is not stopping. Okay. See, animation is not stopping. All right. So what can I do? So I'm not sure why this anime instance pausing is not working. Anyway, I can try this. Get the mesh again and set pause anims to draw here and to false here let's test uh, to make this more clear let me add another let's see yeah now you can see the animation is also paused see it's paused and player is not but that's okay because I'm not going to use it this way I only want to use this with the inventory so when I go to the inventory player inputs will be disabled anyway see it is okay okay now uh, now the test function is working so we can do the same thing for inside the inventory so here instead of this let me copy this Should we do this in the inventory though? I think if I do this in the game instead, this would be better. But for now, I don't have a custom game instead. So therefore, I just do it in the inventory itself. But later on, I will move this to the game instead. Okay, so... Oh, they're here. Why did they come? Oh, right, right. This is exit inventory, so freeze is false here. Freeze should be true here. Okay. Add 
let's test yeah well uh we have a problem here the see so even though i freeze the ai logic yeah yeah even though i have locked the moment and lock ai logic still if i go to the ai these components the sight and perception those things are working and when i move my character into the inventory stage the characters uh, lose sight because i changed the location of the character so i want to avoid that but what would be the best way to avoid that mm. so i think instead of moving the character itself if i just move the character mesh only to the inventory that would avoid the problem of uh, losing the player's sight so here yeah. mesh so i want to move the mesh only and here you may notice mesh have a 270 rotation so what i can do is here under player position i'll add a scene component let's call it mesh root and i'll rotate it minus 90 degrees like this to match the local rotation in the character blueprint and then when i enter inventory mode yeah instead of getting the um actor transform oh yeah right let me rename this to mesh relative transform and then i'll get mesh and get relative transform okay and then instead of changing the player location i'll get mesh set word location oh not just location i may have to change the rotation as well so set world location and rotation okay and instead of player position here i'll take mesh root And when I exit instead of setting this I'll again get mesh set to location and rotation so I need to restore the previous values okay so we are not we don't have any changes in the scale so we don't need to worry about that mm -hmm. i think that's all let's see now they should not be loose in the side see they don't 
let's wait for him to start an attack okay yeah still did the attack when i finish it cool go on great okay so that's all i want to do in this episode okay i hope you learned something so as always updated project files will be available in the patreon page link would be in the description below and see you in the next episode and if you encounter any more issues after making these changes to select your pause characters npcs feel free to let me know in the comments so i will address them in future and also now you can use the same um, freezable interface to pause whatever the other actors that you want to freeze when we uh, go into the inventory stage all right and see you in the next episode goodbye